Welcome everyone. Today we will learn how to deploy a .NET Angular full stack application in Azure Web Apps. So as a prerequisite, we will download a simple CRUD application. I'll provide the video link in the description below, which includes the source code. So let's clone this GitHub repository, go to File Explorer and open a new terminal, type git clone, paste the URL, open the folder, move the angular crud folder outside to deploy the front-end and back-end applications independently open the first folder which contains the api open the solution in visual studio this is a minimal api which includes all the endpoints in the program.cs file to store a product entity with all the crud methods we're using in memory database so initially test the application locally so run the application the default api url lists the products so go to vs code to run the angular application open the folder angular crud pull up a new terminal and install the required packages with this command execute it the node modules are added so serve the angular application open the url and this basic angular ui list the products we can add update delete and get a product based on the id so add a new product defining the name and the price click add let's update the second product and set a different price click update we can delete based on the id so type one as id and delete and finally, get the name and price values based on the ID. Click it by ID and the name and price fields are populated based on the product selected. So go back to Visual Studio and deploy the API. So stop the application, replace the in-memory entity framework core package in the minimal API configuration project to SQL Server to connect with a real database go back to the program.cs file and replace this statement to use sql server by passing the connection string value so in the add settings.json file add a new connection string section defining the sql server key to set the connection string let's leave it as empty because we'll set this value in the deployed azure web apps or the minimal API. So go back to the program.cs file and access the app settings.json calling builder that configuration that get connection string passing the key. Open the solution explorer and add a published profile to deploy this API. So right click in the minimal API and click publish. Select the target which is Azure and the Azure Ad Service on Windows. Click Next and create a new Azure App Service. Define the name, select the subscription name. You'll need to have an active Azure subscription. Select the resource group and create a new hosting plan. Set the name, the location, and select the free tier for the more purposes. Click OK and create a new Ad Service. The Azure App Service is created. Select the resource, click Next, and select the default option, which is to deploy the application with the Publish button. Click Finish. Add the SQL Server database dependency from this section. So click in the plus icon to add a dependency. Select Azure SQL Database and create a new SQL database define the name select subscription name define the resource group create a new database server to host the database it opens a new window so define the name the location define the administrator username and a strong password confirm the password and click ok click create the database is deployed so select the resource click next and define the connection string name which is sql server and username 
And here it's important to define a strong password to connect with the database successfully. So type a strong password and choose don't save value anywhere because we'll set this connection stream value manually on the API web app. Copy the connection stream value and click next. Unselect these options because they are not required and click finish. Click close. The dependency is configured. So we're ready to publish the API. But before that, go to the Azure portal to set the database connection stream. So go to Microsoft Azure and go to Add Services. Open the minimal API deployed resource. Go to the environment variables. Click on the connection stream section and add a new value. Define the name, paste the value and select the type which is SQL Azure, click apply and confirm the changes. The connection string is set. So go back to Visual Studio and click the publish profile to deploy the minimal API into Azure Web Apps. So the API is deployed successfully on Azure Web Apps with the Azure SQL database dependency. We're listing the products from the Azure SQL database so it's time to deploy the Angular application. Go back to Visual Studio Code and navigate to the generic service TypeScript file to set the new deployed URL. So let me copy this URL and replace the local URL, save the file and in the terminal type ng build to generate the required files to deploy this Angular application to Azure Web Apps. It will create this dist folder, which includes all the necessary files to deploy the Angular application. So as a prerequisite in Visual Studio Code, we will install this Azure Ad Service extension to create a new Azure Ad Service resource and deploy this Angular app. So open the command palette and type the greater than symbol, select the create new web app option with advanced configuration from Azure App Service, define the name of the application, select the resource group, the runtime stack and the operating system, the Windows App Service plan and skip application insights. The web app is deployed. So open the command palette again type the greater than symbol and now select the second option deploy to web app browse the folder to deploy open this folder open the angular crowd application name folder and select the browser folder which contains all the generated files so click select and deploy this angular application into the newly azure app service so select the resource and click deploy open the website zoom in and we're listing the products from the deploy api test the crowd application by adding a new product define a price add and in the deploy api we can refresh the default url to see that the new product is added so go back to the deploy angular ui and update a product based on the ID, change the price and click update. Let's delete the first product and get the name and the price from the new product, which has the ID three. So in this demo, we learn how to deploy an Angular.NET full application into Azure Web Apps.